Good afternoon people, Paul T's Beer Reviews and it's beer o'clock and when it's hacker it's a cracker. Um, first time this year's brew. I this must is admit. really exciting. Oh you need to excite really me. Exciting. Oh, <laughs> oh. A smoke, yep lovely jubbly and for the camera. Right. Let's have a look at the bottle. Oh, look at that. Even in a hacker branded glass. See? <laughs> Not quite the correct one, but it's good enough. And this being the Oktoberfest Marzen. I'm really looking forward to this. I'm expecting really good things from this because this brand of beers are absolutely amazing. So I'm sure their Oktoberfest range is going to be. Well, last year this was. Mm. The second best one, if you recall, behind Augustina, and it's got the old brass bottle top lid. That feel free if you like, you can <laughs> hang it out and put it on your shoes. You see? Yeah, hang it if you're like um. If you're a brass an head, 80s child. <laughs> well, yeah, I was an eighties child. Look, at, Look at the colour of that. That's a really deep amber. It's got really good carbonation and a good head on it. Um, um, Oh yeah, smell. I can't read German, but this does come in at 5.8% ABV, people. Um, yeah, this I've been looking forward to this. We've had this here for about two weeks and keep meaning yeah. to do it and I forgot. So, yep, your normal oh, the aroma is well. amazing. Bready malt. Yeah. Yep, yep. Okay, right, so who's first? Go on, you go first for this one. So, if it's a hacker, it's a cracker. Let's hope. Oh, yeah, some flavour in there. You've got all your... I'm getting a really malty smell from this. This smells absolutely lovely. Oh, it's tough. This is tough. Because you've got to think of the other ones. Oh no, that's richer. That is a lot. That's got a lot more um, body, a lot more character going on to it. Really malty on the start, yeah. but you've got fruit flavours at the end. Um, go on, that harvest taste is absolutely beautiful. This, this is, this that is, is really good. I mean, so far, we've done Paulina, which was yeah. great. We've done Lionbrow, which was even greater. Very good. And we've done Span, that keeps growing on us. So where does this come in comparison? This, there is a lot of flavours. It's deeper, it's richer, it's got a more full body it's taste than full body. all of the others, to be fair. There's, yeah. much, there's much, there's more depth to it. Yeah, there would miles be. more depth to it. But does it taste better than the others? Yeah, it does. Ooh. It really does. Ooh. It's got this Ooh. kind of rich sweetness that um, lingers on the palate after you've, after you've had a sip of it. Yeah, you feel the carbonation as well as you're drinking it. Yep, it's so kind of like a lager style. This is more, does it have that more kind of wheatiness to it? It's a little bit more like a wheat beer actually, to be fair, it's, it, it's, it's got more going on to it. I'm, 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 I'm thinking different to you here. No, all right. I'm thinking back to the lamb and it was only a few days ago that I stopped drinking the keg, that I demolished people. <laughs> He did enjoy it. <laughs> someone did it last year, so I did it this year. But I demolished it over a few days, so I could save you the ambiance. Not in one go. Not in one go. That's like not others. recommended, you get bad hangover. Yeah, three day. 
but no, this is a cracker, don't get me wrong, as it's a hacker, there's always a cracker, but... It's the aftertaste, it leaves such a really good aftertaste in the mouth. Oh, it is a beauty. Yes, yeah, absolutely lovely. And there it's is all... got a little bit of something that the others haven't got. There is all the fruit, and it is more mm. dynamic in that respect, but, and I said but, and I always say but, mm. it's not a lime brow. I'm still going You're on. still going on the lime brow. Yep, yeah, I'm still going on the lime brow so far as my top beer. This is, obviously, it's a definite yes. There's never been an Oktoberfest that isn't a yes, is there? <sighs> Has there ever been one? A dud? We haven't done one yet that disappoints. They are always very, very good. Um, for me, this is just pimping it a little bit. I think it's really good. Yeah, no, you, they say there's more depth to it. It's more definitely full bodied, whereas the yeah. others are not. I think, I would say it's stronger than the 5.8. Although it doesn't taste that strong, but compared to the others, because of the mm. full bodied, yeah. you'd appear it to be stronger, but no, it's the lime brow on keg, and I have to stay on keg, due to an early review, it's better. Definitely. It's so very, very close for me. They're both exceptionally good. I'd say it's on par. So where do we go on out of 10? This is um, really confusing. I can't, can't remember what I gave the lone bro. I did give it an eight or nine. I don't know. This for me is a definite yes, and it, it has to be a nine. This is really good. Ooh, okay, okay, big, big talk, big talk. Um, we wait all year for these beers to come out and you always hope that there's going to be something that sticks out from the crowd because they're all so very good but for me this one is uh, just a little... Up in the ante. It is. It is. Owned by it's Paul Adder, you know. Yeah, it's very, very good. Oh, it's definitely right up there but I'm still mm -hmm. preferring Nine Brown. Mm -hmm. I do like it. I th deep texture carbonation still good now people for the time we've been doing the video because remember yeah. a lot of them die off don't be put they off. are not highly carbonated drinks and i think that's because the whole idea is that you're drinking them you're not going to want to get bloated so they're not overly carbonated but there is a good amount of carbonation yeah. in all of them actually well fair. no in, in the bottles there's more carbonation than the kegs yeah but and you can watch the other review it's, um, it doesn't make a lot of difference to the flavour. But no, definite yes. I'll give it a firm seven, people. Um, oh, way worth too low. <laughs> way worth way worth drinking. Don't get me wrong. This one is absolutely great. But <laughs> I'd say, at the four so far, I'll stick my neck out here because people mm, will disagree, on. as I know, and I'll cop it on Facebook. I'm used to that. <laughs> that's one of them things. But that's the weakest of the four. Oh, yep, no. sorry, that's how it goes. For me, that is, there was just there's something a little bit more to this drink um, that I'm enjoying more. Obviously, it's not going to be to everyone's taste, but there is a little bit more, and that just takes it right on there. Well, we can't like the same thing, as we would have that debate on Facebook here, there, and everywhere. But yeah, you can't go wrong with this. But no. You've got to try it. <laughs> Probably worth a try, don't get me wrong, but as I say, as of now, that's the weakest link. Still good, of course. Anyway, <laughs> like, subscribe. If you're not in a keg exchange, back up. Come and join our Facebook group, people. We have a laugh in there. Tell us what you think. Do you agree with me or him? <laughs> me, obviously. Right, bonjour, people. Thanks for watching.